Greetings, Mobile Nations. I'm Ashley Esketha, and you're watching your Mobile Nations Monday Brief, where we take all of the best news from Crackberry.com, the iPhone blog, PreCentral, Windows Phone Central, and Android Central, and we tell you what happened this last week and what you might be seeing this coming week. So uh, without further ado, let's get into your Mobile Nations Monday Brief. The Windows Phone 7 Nation is pretty excited this week after hearing that Microsoft has released Mango, which is the huge update users have been waiting for since early this year, to manufacturers. So unfortunately, the comments seem to indicate that our Windows Phone 7 Nation isn't quite expecting Mango to hit their already bought Windows Phone 7 devices right when it's released. So carriers, I'm looking at you. You've got two months to make your devices ready for Mango, and we want that Mango ASAP. I'm especially looking at you, AT&T, especially looking at you. Don't make me spank you. Now we all know that the Facebook app for tablets is kind of a big bucket of, well, failure. Uh, but apparently that's all going to change as the iPhone blog this week reported that there is in fact a Facebook for iPad app in the works, and you can actually check it out right now. It's not just a poorly ported version of the iPhone Facebook app, it's actually a very nice optimized for tablets version of Facebook, complete with a lovely slide out navigation interface and a separate chat menu. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to check it out, there's a couple of different ways to go about getting it, one of which involves jailbreaking your iPad. So if you're not already jailbroken and you don't feel comfortable going into that whole world, you can probably just wait it out because we'll probably see the official app announced in the next few weeks. Derek over at PreCentral posted a pretty juicy tidbit over on the blog this last week. So we all know that Sprint will not be carrying WebOS products going forward. Now, to a lot of us, it looked like that meant Sprint turned their backs on HP. But what if it was the other way around? Sprint's president of network operations and wholesale, Steve Elfman, actually hit reply all to an email that included a pre-central reader who had inquired about the availability of WebOS products in the future with Sprint. And um, his response was pretty short and to the point and surprising. He said, a shame, but they only want to sell to AT&T and Verizon, which we have documented for counsel. At this point, all that's left is for Sprint to change their name to All My Children and start a slap fight with HP. Drama! Our friends over at Crackberry Nation will tell you that one of the oft-beloved features of a BlackBerry is BBM or BlackBerry Messaging. Well, RIM released BBM6 this last week, and uh, if you're wondering what makes it so special, it's actually a BBM connected feature, which allows you to use BBM from within a supported app. And app makers like Foursquare and others are already jumping on this train. This is a pretty exciting new world for BBM users to get into as it opens up a slew of possibilities for social and location applications. So definitely check it out and head over to crackberry.com to read the full press release. Android users, rejoice! Phil and the gang over at Android Central reported this last week that you can now get S off and recovery thanks to a collaboration between the fine folks at Unrevoked and Alpha Rev. Now all we're waiting for is for Google to release the gingerbread kernel. So Google, if you're watching this, I'll go ahead and wait right here until you do it. Okay, are you ready? How about now? How about now? No? Fine. I'll go ahead and console myself by watching the initial hands-on of the Photon 4G that Phil and the gang put up this week. Let me just say this. We've had this for 16 hours now under embargo. I'm excited about this phone. It is a hell of a little device. Actually, it's not little, right? So it's uh, 4.3 inches on the screen. Uh, take a quick walk around it. You've got uh, micro USB and HDMI on the left, kind of all your normal buttons down there on the bottom. You've got a camera button. You've got a volume rocker. You've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a power button. <gasps> So no Mobile Nations podcast this week as everybody had the week off, but I do have a super awesome giveaway for all you Android fans out there. I got to go to Comic-Con last week. You can direct all your jealousy at me. I know if you weren't there, it was awesome. And uh, I got to get my hands on a set of four Heroes and Villains Android figurines. It's a really cool set and it's designed by the uber talented Andrew Bell, who in fact also signed one of them for your giveaway pleasure. And we will be giving them away on Android Central this week. So keep your eyes peeled on Android Central and be ready to describe your dream device.
Well, that's it for your Mobile Nations Monday Brief. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mobile nations, and you can find me on Twitter at Ashley Esqueda. Mobile Nations, you have been briefed.